it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I have a super special holiday toy for you. And I know it's October, you're expecting Halloween toys, which I do have and I will post more of, but I had to take a break and get a brand new Christmas toy out for you guys because I've been waiting for this one. Now there are five of the Star Wars Holiday Edition Black Series figures released. These were made by Hasbro for ages four plus. Now this one is the GameStop exclusive. Each one is exclusive to a single store. I believe it's GameStop, Amazon, Target, Best Buy, and one other that I can't remember right now. The Target and the Best Buy ones have release dates of November 1st, and I was able to find this GameStop one. It was the only one they had, and the, the GameStop manager said that it was the only one in the area who had any. So I, of course, you know, immediately purchased it, and it was on sale. And I was like, what? I love sales. So this was super exciting for me, and I can't wait to get it open for you. I know this is something that people usually super highly collect, so I'm very sorry to all of you cringing that I'm about to open this, but I'm excited. Okay, let's do this. There's a piece of tape across the top of it. And then the plastic tray slides out. Pretty basic on most toy unboxings. I do love all the snowflakes in the back here, you guys. It's kind of cute. Okay. This tray piece comes out, and then that's all the ceiling on him. I just need to pop out all the little accessories. was a way easier unboxing than I was expecting, but that's super exciting. Oh, you guys. He's got like this hockey stick, almost weapon looking rifle type thing. So here's his little hockey stick. It's got a ton of detail etched into this. This is so, so, so cool. And then we got the little Porg who's all colored like a penguin and it is the most adorable thing ever. I love it. Ugh. Also, don't use the Porg as a hockey puck. That's horrible. I really wish they put a hockey puck in here because I feel like that's what all the kids are going to do with it. Anyway, here is the Snow Trooper. And he... Oh, I love this. Look, he's even got his ugly sweater, sweater chest plate on. He's got his elf sock armor. Guys, this is so cool. Okay, let's talk about his articulation. Now, there's no articulation on the poor guy and he's not very heavy he's super lightweight as is the stick but it's not made of super flimsy material i mean it'll bend so don't snap it apart but average average weight plastic i would say on those two and on him as well i honestly thought he might be a little bit heavier this is the first black series star wars toy that I, i've opened because while i am a star wars fan I did not know that I needed these until the Christmas editions came out, you guys. Okay. Okay. Oh, and they don't call them Christmas editions. Holiday editions. I'm sorry. All right. His head does have a spinning joint here, and it does look like he's wearing a turtleneck underneath his armor, which is kind of great. I don't know how well you guys can see it in here. Hold on. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? He's got this rolled up turtleneck right here under his armor of his ugly Christmas sweater. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Okay, other articulation. He does have a twistable joint in his arm. It, it looks like it should be a ball joint, but I guess because of this armor, it doesn't really move up and down very well. It's a fairly cheaply made figure, surprisingly. Then he's got an elbow joint that is one of these double elbow joints, and there's probably a better name for this i really should look it up but it bends in two different places so that his elbow can actually bend all the way back like this it does get impaired by some of his armor but there's a decent amount of motion in those two joints then he's got a twistable wrist joint it's not a full ball joint doesn't well actually no it's not a full ball joint it does not actually tilt it looks like it should but again this armor or the sheet material, I'm unsure. But you can actually twist the wrist all the way around. And then he's got this waist ball joint, which is kind of cool. So he can spin 360 degrees and tilt. Then he's got, I think he's actually wearing red long underwear under this. Remember I told you about the turtleneck thing? Like you can see 
in the back up by his thighs that he's wearing that same material underneath so I guess it's some kind of long underwear or something it's beautiful anyway he does have this ball joint at the thigh here it's a little difficult to move because of these materials but after you move it around a little bit it loosens up some so that's not too bad then he's got a double knee so that he can have more posability than just this angle here at his knee and then he's also got a joint at his feet now this is a full ball joint and this is so strange when they make these full ball joints on here but it's fun because now he can stand on his tippy toes and all kinds of other ridiculous poses so this is actually fairly highly articulated but it's made of really cheapy really cheapy material which is kind of disappointing for the price of these figures these figures run from 20 to 25 bucks is about what a black series figure is going to cost you so a little bit disappointing on that end but i think a lot of people will collect these more than necessarily play with these i feel like oh, i feel like it hits both age ranges you've got all those collectors who loved star wars as a kid and they now collect instead of doing the played with toys and then we've got this new generation who's getting into star wars with disney and even if they don't like star wars this is just an epic army figure that's Christmas related and if they do love Star Wars that's an even extra bonus so it's pretty fun for a lot of different categories of playtime and collecting here I oh wait I should tell you about this okay hold on can I get him to hold this in both hands give me a second get it in there we go now he can hold his little hockey stick rifle thing actually i believe it's a blade guys i was thinking it looked like a hockey stick but i think he's actually supposed to hold it the other way sort of like a sickle blade so i don't know but it's super cool either way and he can hold it in one hand too but i feel like maybe he was meant to hold it in both and also this makes it look a little more hockey like so <laughs> i like that better for the holiday theme all right, guys, let me know what you guys think of this toy down in the comments below. If you guys have gotten this, if you guys are planning on getting the entire series or any of the ones in the series, each of the five are actually different. And I will show a picture right here real quick of all of them and where you can get them. So let me know what, which ones you guys are going to get or if you would get them as gifts for collectors or kids in your lives. If you like what you saw, please, please, please do hit that subscribe button down below. Share it with your friends, family, coworkers, anyone else, and encourage them to subscribe as well. Then, of course, go head over to my channel. I've got plenty more toy reviews and other toy-related content and collector-related content of all sorts. I've even sorted it into different playlists for you if you're looking for specific things. So go check that out. You'll have a good time. And as always, have a great time playing. Bye.